If you suspect that you're perimenopausal or menopausal and your symptoms are impacting your quality of life, then it's a really good idea to speak to a doctor or a nurse for advice and support. We know that in reality, a lot of women are afraid to do this or they don't feel confident or they might feel like their symptoms will be fobbed off. So what we're gonna to do today is arm you so that you can go to that consultation feeling fully prepared and confident. I'm joined today by Dr. Sam Wilde, who's Booper's clinical lead for women's health. And this is really common, Sam, isn't it? There are lots of women who feel frightened almost or wary of going to see their GP about their symptoms. Yeah, they really do. And, you know, I'd like to reassure them that they're not alone. Um, they really shouldn't suffer in silence and they shouldn't feel embarrassed to go and see their doctor. That's what the doctor's there for. They've, they've seen, they've heard it all before. Um, so please try and get that confidence to go. So how can we make it a little bit easier and how can we help people and advise people to prepare in the best way before they go into that appointment. So as you said, yeah, prepare. So do as much reading as possible. Um, try and do some research um, so that you understand sort of what symptoms you may be experiencing and, and have a read about what different treatments might be available as well. So really try and educate yourself as much as you can. Try and keep a symptom diary if you can too, because that can really help the GP um, and you focus on your symptoms um, and you know start straight away to have a look and, and see what's going on and, and what might need support. Um, when you go and book your appointment, ask the receptionist which doctor is the one to see about the menopause. There's usually a GP within a practice that, that specialises in it, um, and so do that. Also ask if it's possible to have a double appointment because this is a lot to talk about. Um, so some surgeries will allow you to do this. Um, and also if you, you do feel that you're gonna be a bit worried about going and you may not take everything in that the doctor's um, telling you, ask if it's possible to take someone along with you as well and, and take a partner or a friend with you to the appointment. I think some, some really good advice there. I think also, don't always expect everything to be resolved in one appointment. It may be that you need to go back for another appointment. And I think, yeah, your point about receptionists, they are there to help. And sometimes they can be the best source of information about who to see, exactly. whether really it's can. about menopause or anything else. Um, what can you expect your doctor to discuss with you at that appointment? I'd expect them to start by discussing um, what the menopause is and the different stages of the menopause that can be experienced. Um, talk about the different symptoms that you might suffer with and some of the longer term consequences of the menopause as well. Um, they then will go into greater detail with you about your symptoms and how it's affecting you and things that you can do to help yourself. And then after that, they may then talk about different medications that can be tried, um, including hormonal and non-hormonal medications, um, and other therapies such as cognitive behavioral therapy too. And talk about um, any side effects that may be experienced from the medications and any risk to taking them as well. Is there a test that the doctor should be doing to test for menopause? Not for everybody. So if you're over the age of 45, then we know your hormones will be changing. You will go through the menopause at some point, as every woman does. And so those hormones are fluctuating minute by minute, hour by hour. So taking a blood test doesn't really give us any additional information. This is a clinical diagnosis. For women between the ages of 40 and 45, when it's a little bit younger to start going through it, um, we might do a blood test if we're unsure of the diagnosis. Um, and for women under the age of 40, we would definitely do some blood tests just to ensure that this definitely is an early menopause um, because you may need some additional support to go whilst you're going through it. Okay. If people leave that appointment and they feel like they haven't been um, listened to or um, they haven't had the outcome that they wanted or perhaps they went in there wanting HRT and that hasn't been prescribed, what can they do next? Speak up. Um, you know. As doctors, we don't want people to go away feeling disappointed. So speak up, say what the issue is, ask for a second opinion if, if needed. Um, and again, if you've done that research first, then hopefully you've got a good understanding and, and really try and put your point across as why you think that you should be eligible for HRT um, and try and get that clear answer. If, if the doctor doesn't think that you are, why not? Um, and if, if you aren't eligible for HRT, they should be giving you different treatment options. Mm -hmm. um, and ultimately, you know, you could go and see a menopause specialist. So this may be something that the doctor will offer you or you could ask for 
if you aren't happy with the outcome. Okay, so I think that's really, really helpful. I guess to summarise, the ideas are do your preparation, be informed, keep a list of your symptoms, kind of be aware of what the doctor is going to ask and have that information to hand. And if you're not happy with the outcome, stick your hand up and say so and do something about it. Definitely, and don't be afraid to do so. And remember that there are always two experts in that room, the doctor and the patient. There really is. You know your body the best. Thank you.